How are we doing today, everybody? I did it again. I started it the same. You want to know why? Because I got another over under for you. I got one. I got one. I got one. I love it. It's new. It's a boat you've been asking for. And I learned a lot about this boat in a phone conversation. It is the 2010 Charger Elite. Charger Elite 2010. Are you ready? I hope so, because I am. All right, so got on my phone, boom, here we go. I got a hold of a gentleman by the name of Kelly Powers. Anybody know that name? Anybody know that name? Somebody say yeah, please. I talked to the guy, champion guy, champion, champion, champion. I talked to him about the charger. I said, Kelly, you gotta give me some info about this 2010. He said, what do you wanna know? I said, I wanna know everything. Literally, boom, on the phone, tells me everything about this boat. Talks to me about, it's a champion hull. I'm like, no, it's Charger. He said, no, no, it's a champion hull. It is a champion hull. We took a 198 champion and we took a 210 champion and we created the 198 Elite Charger and we created the 210 Charger. He said the only thing different was we took the cap, modernized it, did a little bit of stuff under the council, kind of modernized the council, put some slides where the footsteps go, um, made the back deck more user friendly uh, inside the storage unit made sure that the batteries were able to be in there just made a quality boat they made a quality boat and they took a champion hull and went thunk put it up underneath it and he said basically the only thing different is the montegos on the side it's the only thing different besides that he said it's a champion with a charger on it montegos champion hull i went and looked at it on the website i actually built my own charger i was building it i was, I was having fun it was like it was like i was a kid again i was like colors and hey look at this yeah look at that it was fun it was a good time so we're going to talk about the 210 here um i talked to kelly i actually recalled him he is a busy man he's a busy man right now because they got a crap ton of bad weather he's plowing snow with a tractor and it, you know it's just the south got hit with some stuff that they're not used to and he's got to keep boats cut in and out and he's got to get stuff built and they got to get all that stuff taken care of and he's moving boats he said he's busy he was nice enough to get back to us at eight o'clock last night so i called him again today i said let's just do this over the phone so we can get this thing out for you he's like that's awesome so we talked so i talked to him and he basically said on the 210 elite charger the base price you can get now here listen stop listen all right you can get the hull and trailer for 49.9 but what we're going to do is we're going to go into what you get for 49.9 so the trailer is a tandem axle brakes swing away tongue with their i guess people call it road armor they call it tough coat finish so it's basically like the tough coat the road armor the gator armor all that it, it's that armor on the trailer you get the led lights on the trailer you get the mag rims on the trailer um, you get the, I think, no, I'm gonna cancel that. I was gonna say something about the hubs, but um, you just get the standard four, breakaway, brakes, LED lights, road armor, done. Or tough coat, done. Basically, it's the boat, and you gotta put a motor on it, trolling motor, batteries, and your electronics, you can go fishing. That's what it is. So you can go fishing. And that's what I basically said to Kelly today. I'm like, so all I gotta do, if I get that basic boat from you guys, Put a motor on, I can put my trolling motor on, my batteries, my electronics, and I can go fishing. He said, exactly, it's exactly what you can do. So you can get that charger, hull and trailer, rig, ready to put on your electronics, your motor, your trolling motor, your batteries. You can get that boat and trailer 49.9, the 210 Elite, 49.9. So we took our pricing that we've used through this whole thing, the same pricing, on the units, on the trolling motor, on the jack plate, all of that, and we just integrated it into that. Because Kelly was so busy with what's going on, we just took all those numbers and just moved them into this boat. And this is the price we're gonna come up with. We came up with a price and then we went and searched. We went and searched the new 210s, and we were pretty close here and there, but they're running single units, smaller units. We've got, obviously, you know, giant TV screens and all that other good stuff stacked on top of each other. So. You gotta keep the 49.9 in place. Boom, right here. All right, so then we gotta put a motor on it. We selected the Yamaha 250 SHO. Poof, right on the back. 18690. 
boop, right on the back. Now that price is probably subject to change depending where you get it, whatever. We're trying to take like a, a just a map nationwide price and put it on there. So that's what we did. 18,690. Trolling motor. You know we put the 36 min coat of Altrex on it. You know it came with a charger like we talked about. We got three flooded 31s going in for the trolling motor. We got 127 group cranking battery going in. Electronics is the same. We go to the council, we get into the two hummingbirds. The hummingbird Helix 10 Mega SI Gen 3s, boom, linked at the council, the 10s. You know why I went with 10s, not 12s, because I you gotta be able to see. I like 10 there. Um, Bow Electronics, same as always. The two Hummingbird Helix 12 Mega SIs, Gen 3s, linked. Everybody's talking to each other up front at the bow. Now, another price we gotta add into this stuff is we gotta put the mounts in, because they don't come with the mounts. So we put the mounts in on the price also. And that's the same as what we've done all the time. So we got the side-by-sides and we got the stack up front at the bow. Miscellaneous options we're gonna add. We're taking the manual jack plate off and chucking that over the shoulder. We're gonna add the 10 inch Bob's hydraulic jack plate. So we're adding the hydraulic Bob's to this. Uh, the two power pull blades, we're gonna put that on. And the two precision mounts times two, one at dash, one up front, like I just talked about. So you got the mounts, you got the power pulls, and you got the jack plate. Those are addition to what we're doing, just to keep everything the same across the board. Um, the trailer options that you come with that we already talked about kind of, but I'm gonna go into them. You get the tough coat finish, you get the swing away tongue, you get the ratchet tie downs, the custom wheels, tandem axle, the brakes, it's all there, it's ready to roll, ready to rock and roll. So you start at 49.9, and Jordan and I were doing some math on what we're doing. We came up with like, I think just an electronics, we had eight grand or something in electronics. It's crazy what we're putting on these boats, but it's cool. But we got a lot of money outside of the boat price. So you guys sitting at home, when we get done with this price, you gotta think of how you would do the boat. So if I'm buying the boat for 50, and I wanna put, you know, if I, let's say you got 70 in the boat and, boat and motor, well now you're not gonna put another eight maybe into the units, maybe you are, maybe you're not. But I mean, at 70, you could probably be around 75-ish probably out the door, whatever. Um, but back to ours, because I just got off track, but I do that once in a while. Back to ours, our grand total for the boat, motor, trailer, rigged, the way we want it, fully loaded, let's go tournament fishing, 847774. Did you get that? And I didn't stutter, it sounded like I did, but I didn't stutter. $87,477.74. A lot of sevens and fours, you couldn't have changed that? Like you added a five in there for me or something? So round, let's just round it to 87.5. 87,500 bucks, that's what you get the boat for. Motor, trailer, fully loaded, to the hilt. Um, and, today, and we went and priced a couple because we are like, ah, it seems a little high for what we're doing, but we did go and price a couple with, I think we had some with some smaller, they look like seven inch Garmin's on it. Um, council end up front. Granted, it may have had panoptics. We also have, do, do we have the 360 involved in this? Yeah, so the 360's on here too. Um, so we got the 360 in here too. So they went with Panoptics and two little Garmin's and it was like 50 or 81, 81, five or 82,000. And so we're adding our four huge units plus 360 and we're adding a hydraulic plate. That one did have a hydraulic plate on it though too, but it was an Atlas plate. We looked at a couple of those that Atlas plates. And they were like 82-ish and we're, all, we're at 87. So. If you think, all right, so we've got 8,000 electronics alone, then you add poles. Did that have poles on it too? Did it have poles? Yeah, I think it did have poles. So it, it, we're close. I mean, we're in the ballpark. We did everything correct. I mean, it's all right there. But um, over under value price on the boat. Now, I personally have never physically seen this 210, the new 210. I have not put my hands on it, but I'm taking the guy's word. I'm taking Kelly's word for it. It looks like a champion. I was dissecting it today. It looks like a champion. He would know. He was the one that went from Mountain Home to Murfreesboro. He was part of all that. He was involved with all that stuff. I mean, go back and look at some of the old champion stuff. You champion true guys, you'll know what that who that name is. So, and working now here at Charger, um, we talked about boats. We talked. We started, started talking to him about the boats. I told my dad two or three tore down. I got two or two. He was in, he was enthused by all that. Um, older style. We started talking about the company. 
He basically said we could put out another 450 boats probably a year, he said, but the family that owns it, the ownership is more about quality than quantity. And if you hear that, that's what I get to talking about with some of these smaller companies even. And I'm not saying that, like, you know who I'm talking about, the gamblers and the, uh, the ballistics and some of the other guys that we, we had, these independent guys, I basically call them independent guys because they're just, they're family owned, just like Chargers family owned. The quality is what they want. They want the craftsmanship and the quality to be there in the boat. And I know I preach that every time, but I don't hear that from every boat builder. I don't hear that we worry about quality. We worry about quality. We want numbers out like some of the other brands that are behind me and stuff like that. Um, but he's talking about, yeah, we could pump out another 450 boats, but we want to keep it so the customer's quality is there which you gotta respect as a consumer. You gotta respect the, the quality. You gotta respect the phone call and the warranty. I mean, I called this guy in his cell phone. He's answered it both times. And he's a busy guy. Um, there's other brands out there, we can't get a hold of anybody. They won't even call us back. And this guy's answering his phone. I called down to Charger and they said, I said, is Kelly there? And they're like, no, and then they went through it. They're like, well, if you got those kind of questions, we would send you to him anyway. So she gave me the phone number and boom. He answered the first time I called him. First time I called him. So props to Kelly for just talking to some phone in that number that he's never had come across his phone before. That's pretty cool. Um, 87477, 74, 85,000, uh, undervalued. Undervalued because of the fact of, um, I believe, I believe in what Kelly's saying. I believe that he has a champion hall underneath there. I mean, he gave me the years of the boats that they took the stamping off of. He gave me everything. He gave me some info about a boat I'm going to talk about later. Um, so I believe him. I believe it's champion. I believe it's champion hall. It's not champion champion. It's a charger. Montego's on the side, but it's, he, it's a champion hall. I mean, I took pictures and went side by side. Boom, boom, 210 and 198. And they are, man, <laughs> they are, they are close. I mean, literally close. If, if I were to probably blank out the Mount Montego's on the side and take the charger name off, you would think it's a modern day champion. So, um, props to Charger for doing that. Props to Kelly for talking to me. Um, and uh, I, I can't say I can't say anything bad about Charger Bullets right now. They talked they talked highly of customer service. He talked highly of quality. Um, and if you haven't checked out these boats, I think you should go to a local dealer. Um, give Charger a call. Talk to him. Talk to Charger. See what you think. Um, I mean, I knew when they came out, and, and I'm probably just like one of those guys that's like, eh, I'm, okay, somebody's trying to do a champion, but you're talking to a guy that's been with champion forever, and now he's with Charger, and he tells me it's a champion. Champion Hall. He said, it's champion Hall. You can't argue with that. You can't argue with that. So, um, undervalued at 87,500 bucks, and there we go again. People are gonna give me the, how can it be undervalued? It's just because, like I say, it's more than just the boat you're purchasing in the end, people. It's about the customer service. It's about the relationship you can build with the brand you purchase. Branding. It's all about branding. It's about family. It's about selling quality. It's not about how many boats we can get out the door so somebody gets one and it falls apart. That stuff bothers the hell out of me. But quality craftsmanship, caring about what you got, appreciating the value. I mean, I rigged some charger boats back in the day. Was I impressed? I was kind of impressed. Was I really like, ah, yeah, these are the boats? No, I'll be honest with you. But I look at the 210, I look at the 198, I look at some of that stuff and man, they've done a lot to improve that boat. They made that boat champion, man, a champion lookalike. It's it. I'm impressed. That's all I got to say. I'm impressed with that Charger look. I'm impressed with that Charger boat. Now I haven't ridden in one. You guys, you guys that own them, this is the time right here. Come on here and talk to me about that Charger. Talk to me about your Charger. I'm not the guy that sat down on the boat. You got one. This is your time to brag right now. Get on here and start bragging about your Charger boat. 87,500 bucks undervalued. In my eyes, it's undervalued because like I said, it's quality it's craftsmanship and it's worrying about the consumer. I want you to get what you pay for. It's that's, 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 that's important. That's important in my eyes. So, um, 
You want me to do the announcement right now? You want me, you want me to talk about that? You do? Ha, this is awesome. Now I'm really happy. All right, so this one's done. Now, a lot of people may know, some people may know, I talked to Kelly and I told him I got a 203 torn down in the shop and he goes, oh, awesome. Um, <laughs> we're making the 203. Whoa. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. <laughs> like every muscle is like, yeah, yeah. tell me something about it. Took a 2006, I think it was 2006, 203. And they, whoom, they built it. They built it, they've got it. It's gonna be released in the States. I think he said, no, just hold my, just boom, boom, quote me on this, not him. This year released in the States. A lot of them over in Japan, that's what he told me. The demand in Japan they can't keep up with for the 203. It was released in Japan, so it's been over there. They're trying to get them released here. So they're gonna get them released here. I think he said this year calendar year is the release date for the 203. The new 203 champion 203 hall, 203 elite coming back, charger name, champion hall, Montego's on the side. I, I, I just, I'm so excited. I can't, I can't even, yeah, I'm excited right now. It's just like, holy cow, I get to look at another 203. So, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for the date. I can't wait for the boom, there it is. I can't wait for any of that. Maybe somebody got one and I don't even know if you got one. Just put a picture, because I just want to be like, look at that. I mean, yeah, it's gotta be cool. It's gotta be cool. No pricing, no nothing. But I guarantee you when I get pricing on that boat, there will be another one of these coming to you because I want to see it. I want to touch it. I want to smell it. I want to lay on it. I want to just be like, ah, I'm back in it. That's what I want. I just dropped my paperwork. It's all right. But that's the announcement. On top of the over-under, the 203 is coming back to the United States, hopefully this calendar year. Couldn't get a month, couldn't get a date, but this calendar year, hopefully we get to see it. It is in Japan. It is functional. It is floating. It's moving. And I just gotta wait and, and be like all fidgety and wait for it. But that's awesome to me, the 203 hull. Now that's not the 90s 203 hull, the narrow one with the gas tank in the back. It's the 2000 model um, gas tank under the seats. So make sure you keep that in mind. Anyway, like always, comment, subscribe, and click notification bell to witness the madness that I call speed, money, and no brakes. I am going home for the weekend. Peace.